Shalom. First off, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Machar, Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of GMS to teach us this word. And Shalom unto the hopeful elect upon the four corners of this earth that shall make it up out of here in truth and in sincerity. So this lesson I want to bring out is going to be talking about how, you know, the the prophets of the Lord and the men of the Lord, we don't teach this truth to please men. We we, we don't teach this truth to say things that uh that men want to hear. You know, we teach this truth how it's supposed to be taught. It, the, the, the good and, and the and the quote unquote bad of it. You know, we, we, we talk about the, the the peaceful things in the scriptures and we talk about war, we talk about death, we talk about uh we talk about whatever the scriptures talk about, you know, what whatever's in, in the scriptures, that's what that's what we bring out. You know, the scriptures say you're not supposed to add or take away from, from uh the book of the Lord. You know, so we're not going to sugarcoat anything in these scriptures to please men. You know, we're going to teach this, this, uh, we're going to teach these scriptures how it's supposed to be taught. You know, Galatians chapter one, verse 10 says, for do I now persuade men or the most high, or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please the men, I should not be the servant of, uh, of Hamashiach, you know, so. If we taught this word with the intention to to have a, a, everyone like us and everyone uh, accept what we say, if we taught this word um, in a fashion where we wanted we 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 wanted everybody to to hear what what they wanted to hear, you know, peace and jolly times, then we wouldn't be a servant of the Most High because He wants us to prophesy these uh these bad times that's coming ahead, you know, and if we gotta prophesy these times. Then we gotta talk about everything that's coming. You gotta talk about the famine that's coming. We gotta talk about the um, the, the the death and destruction that's coming. You know the 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 the, the war by by uh, nuclear missiles. You know war. That's what we gotta talk about. You know, death, destruction, famine. That that that's that's what that's what the scriptures foretell, and that's what we gotta bring out. That's what our job is. You know, but people and not everyone wants to hear that, you know, but you got some men pleasers that's going to teach the scriptures in a in a fashion where, you know, they're, they're saying what, what people want to hear. You know, and that's not the men of the Lord's job. Here, first Thessalonians chapter two, verse four, I grab that. It says, but as we were allowed of the most high to be put in trust with the gospel. It says we were put in trust with the gospel. The Most High gave us this gospel and gave us this job to prophesy and, and, and trust that we do it correctly. It says, but as we were allowed of the Most High to be put in trust with the gospel, even so we speak, not as pleasing men, but the Most High, which trieth our hearts. You know, and here I want to get the definition of that word uh, pleasing. Just to give more edification, because it's gonna uh, it's gonna go into it. Here, I'll get the pronunciation. Strong's G seven hundred, Aresco, Aresco. It says to please, to strive to please, to accommodate oneself to the opinions, desires, and interests of others. You know, and if you're trying to if you're trying to accommodate yourself to the opinions and desires and interests to the to, to the world then you ain't never going to get the word out because the interest of the world is nothing that the scriptures are speaking about. The interest of the world is to relax. The interest of, 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 of the world is sin. You know, but we prophesy about righteousness. We, we prophesy about, about prophecy. You know, we, we don't prophesy about righteousness. We, we, uh, we, we preach righteousness and, and, and we preach prophecy. Salakia. You know, so... We're not here to 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 accommodate ourselves. We're the Most High gave us His job with the with the intention that we'd accommodate ourselves to Him. You know that's who we're supposed to please. We're supposed to please the Most High. We're supposed to strive to please the Most High, as the definition also said. You know it says strive to please. You know, and you got people who will try to be a friend of the world and try to sugarcoat things and try to make things sound nice 
so that people will 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 listen to them or people will uh will will, will accept what they're saying. But not everyone is supposed to accept what we're saying. You know, not everyone is gonna walk by and and hear and hear what what we're preaching and automatically be cool with it. That's not what's that's not what's supposed to happen. Here, as a matter of fact, I get James four and four. It says, "Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is in is enmity with the Most High? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of the Most High." You know, and you got people who is, who try to settle in with, with with the world and and try to be their friend and say things that that they want to hear and say things that that's uh that's soothing to their ears, but that's not our job. You know, here let's get the definition of that word enmity. I'll get the pronunciation. Strong's G twenty one eighty nine, Echthra. Echthra. So it says. Enmity, cause of enmity. If you go down here where it says strong definitions, it says hostility by implication, a reason for opposition. Enmity, hatred. You know, so you're gonna call you're gonna put yourself in opposition against the most high if you're trying to befriend the um um the world. Because the most high gave you this truth with intentions that you prophesy what he wants you to prophesy, and then you you uh and then you you he gives you th this word he gives you this knowledge and you take it s somewhere else you know to to please yourself and to please men you know that's a selfish act to 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 change up what 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 you bring out uh, out the scriptures to to not teach this truth because you want people to 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 uh, you you want to sugarcoat things so that people can 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 uh, accept you or people can listen to what you're saying you know so here I want to get a uh, one more scripture, First Corinthians chapter two verse four. It says, "And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power." You know, because we're we're not here to 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 speak about what what uh what what men know what what uh what 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 men believe. As in the, the 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 Big Bang theory and, and and evolution and all that, we don't believe in that, and that's so that we're not gonna preach that. We're 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 not gonna we're not gonna uh, we're we're not go gonna go out on, on the highways and preach Esau science. We're gonna preach this word. We're gonna, we're gonna preach this book of truth. You know because we're we're not. It, if we went out on the highways and taught what's uh was taught in in the school systems taught was was uh what what Esau tells everyone then people would accept us people would accept the men of the Lord the pe people would uh people would everyone would look at us and, and and accept what we're saying you know but that's not our job our job isn't to be accepted that's not what we're looking for acceptance was never part part of the job what was always part of the job was to prophesy this word and if people listen they listen if they don't then move along you know we're we're demonstrating the most high's uh power we're, we're demonstrating what what the most high wanted us to put on demonstration you know so hey with that being said i want to give all praise actually hold on Salakia, so like before i uh before I finish out this lesson here, I'll get this last uh, scripture right here. It says that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of the Most High. Yes, yeah, Salakia, so like, yeah, I just saw that verse uh, last second. I, it says that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men. You know, because if you're if you're teaching things to um to men that 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 they believe, you know, men men of the world, if you're teaching things that they believe, things that they would accept, that's what you're putting your faith into. That's what that's showing that you believe that if you're willing to sit there and teach that to a person and, and uh and and have have them gain that knowledge, you know it shows where your faith lies. But if you're standing fast, you know if if you if you have that spirit on you and and, and you're standing fast for for uh, the word uh, of the Most High and that's what you're teaching, then that shows that your faith is in the right place. You know your faith isn't in in in. And uh, in in man's knowledge or being accepted by uh, the world, it's showing where your faith is, you know. But yeah, with that being said, I'm gonna give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai.
Ba'ashem, Bechar, Kodash, and a Shalom.